Hello, my name is Martin Günther and I am a senior researcher at DFKI, the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence. Today I am going to review a new RGBD camera, the Orbeck Femto Bolt. Full disclosure, um, Orbeck uh, sent me the camera for free for the purpose of doing this review. However, this does not influence my opinion and I'm going to do an honest review. Also, the opinions expressed in this video are my own and not the ones of my employer. So, what is the Orbeck Femtobolt? It is an RGBD camera comprised of a 1 megapixel time of flight sensor and a 8 megapixel RGBD, RGB camera. It also has an integrated IMU. The Orbeck Femtobolt is heavily inspired by the Microsoft Azure Decay camera. Unfortunately, Microsoft has stopped producing and selling the Azure Connect in August 2023 and has licensed the technology to its partners. The Orbeck Fento Bolt camera uses the signed time of flight depth sensor as the Azure Connect DK, but paired with a different RGB camera. To compare the two cameras, I have mounted them on top of each other and pointed them to a scene in our robot lab. Here you can see the Orbeck Femto Bolt camera on top and the Microsoft Azure Connect DK camera on the bottom. As you can see, the Orbeck camera is a bit more compact with about half the length of the Microsoft camera. To review the cameras, I am using ROS1 Noetic. Orbeck provides a ROS1 as well as a ROS2 driver, an SDK and also an API that is compatible to the Azure Connect SDK for people who have developed applications for the Azure Connect and need a drop-in replacement. On the top left you see the RGB image of the Femto Bolt camera. Below that is the RGB image of the Azure Connect and on the right is the colored point cloud of the Femto Bolt. The Femto Bolt comes with very good factory calibration, which is also exposed via the ROS driver. As a result, the precision in aligning RGB and depth data is very good and noticeably better than on the Azure Connect. The objects in this scene are relatively far away, so that you can see how the camera deals with objects at different ranges. For reference, the distance to the closest point on the robot is 1.7 meters. The distance to the closest point on the left blue box on the table is 2.5 meters and the distance to the wall in the background is around 4.6 meters. To demonstrate the point cloud data on more realistic ranges, I am holding an object closer to the camera here. I would say that the overall quality of the depth data is very high. You get some artifacts that are typical for time-of-flight cameras, such as multipath effects, which result in smoothed out corners when two planes meet at a right angle, but nothing too bad. Also, to demonstrate the quality of the RGB to depth alignment mentioned earlier, I'm holding my hand into the camera here. As you can see, the alignment is very good. The colors of my hand almost never bleed into the background, only when I'm moving my hand very quickly. Uh, here I am comparing the point clouds of the two cameras. Um, the point cloud of the Femto Bolt camera is colorized with the colors from the RGB camera. In order to be able to tell the two point clouds apart, I've switched the display of the Azure Connect camera um, so that it uses excess colors instead and shows them as a rainbow color. As you can see, the point clouds of the two cameras are almost identical. This is unsurprising given that both cameras use the same 1 megapixel time of flight depth camera, um, but I just wanted to verify that the results are indeed the same. What is different between the two cameras, however, is the RGB camera. So, as you have probably noticed, the field of view of the Femto Bolt is narrower than the one of the Azure Connect. And uh, here I am visualizing the Femto Bolt cloud, uh, point cloud overlaid on top of the Femto Bolt RGB image on the top left and the Azure Connect point cloud overlaid on top of the Azure Connect image on the bottom left. Notice how due to the narrower field of view of the Femto Bolt camera, the part of the point cloud um, on the top and bottom is cut off while the Azure Connect camera can cover the whole point cloud with its RGB camera. 
since the camera resolution is so high at 8 megapixels, uh, you can always crop your image to zoom in if you want a narrower field of view, but you can never zoom out if the field of view was too narrow to begin with. Uh, for most applications, this will be fine. But if I had the choice, I would have preferred the wider, wider field of view of the Azure Connect camera. And um, finally, here is one more comparison between the two RGB cameras. Um, under normal lighting conditions, the image quality is comparable. So, if anything, the Femto Volt camera perhaps has a slightly better white balance and more natural colors. However, if there is any sort of backlight in the image, the situation is drastically different. The Femto Volt camera has a cool feature called HDR, which means that it can balance out the exposure of different image regions when there are large brightness differences in the scene. This video was taken on an overcast day, but still in the Femto Volt camera image you can see a lot of um, detail, both of the outside um, and also of the inside. So in contrast, in the Azure Connect image, the outside area is overexposed, while a lot of the inside objects, such as the label of the bottle, are underexposed. In summary, my impression is that the Orbeck Femto Bolt is a very good camera, very similar and definitely not worse than the Microsoft Azure Connect DK. Uh, it has an excellent factory calibration and the color depth registration is very good. Uh, since the Azure Connect DK is end of life, uh, it's hard to order or even unattainable and doesn't even support Ubuntu 20.04. Uh, I would pick the Femto Vault over the Azure Connect DK if I had the choice. Um, and the price for the Femto Vault is also fair for what you get. Thanks for watching.